Oh, what a beautiful morning. Nope, that's not even mine. <laughs> Give me a sec, gang. We gotta find a good track. We gotta set the mood. Okay. Get real for a second. We wear many different masks on a day to day basis, and it all depends on the current situation at hand. I know that recently I've been trying to rediscover myself and figure out what makes Bradley tick and what ticks Bradley off. And one of the things that ticks me off. Is being ignored, talked over, abandoned, and left behind, and underappreciated, and undervalued, and is misjudged. Misjudged. Every single day, we judge each other based on what we've said in the past, and we say a lot of crap. Diarrhea of the mouth, constipation of the mind. Recently, I've been diarrhea of the mind and constipation of the mouth. You must be very wise in what you say and how you say it and when you say it and who you say it to. Because though they say sticks and stones will break my bones, words will never hurt me, it's not true at all. It is not true at all. For you see, gang, when you spew words at certain emotions, when you are extremely angry, frustrated, upset, you say things you don't mean, but they stick. They stick like glue. They do hurt. And they hurt like an annoying gnat, a fly, a mosquito, a bee, a wasp that just keeps stinging at your mind because you can't let it go. Recently, uh, individual I'm acquainted with said we're no longer friends all right we are no longer friends contextually speaking he was very upset and I am me I behaved boldly irrationally maniacally and when you are on a manic high, you get to such a point not many people can follow. But I have my my mom and my dad and my sisters, God bless them all, my grandmother, God bless her. I have the support of my friends at home, God bless them. Because when I have a million things going on at once and then I'm informed of a recent passing of an old friend of mine. I asked for a bottle of honey to soothe my grief. I asked for a bottle of honey to soothe my aching throat because I've just been diagnosed with bronchial spasms. There's a million dollar word, look it up. I need honey to cool me off, level down my mind and just slow it down like honey. I need honey delivered by my friends to symbolize the value of Bradley to them. So that way I don't feel underappreciated, misjudged, so on and so forth. I can be happy, bubbly, go-lucky Bradley at times, of course, absolutely. And I want to be optimistic and bubbly Bradley all the time. I mean, my sister calls me Bubby all the time for a reason, go figure. I love being bubbly, of course. But when grief strikes the heart, it 
it brings it back down to Earth. And though this bubble still exists, it sinks. When you have to get real with your friends for a moment, they don't realize the severity of the situation, and you kind of you know, boldly whip them into shape. People hurt. People do get hurt. The words that people say, and the actions that we perform, affect one another in magical ways. What is important to remember, timetables, deadlines, because time stops for no man. Your seconds aren't my seconds, your minutes are not my minutes, and my hours are not your hours, and my days are not your days, and vice versa. Relativity. Relativity. If my world revolves around you so much that I neglect to take care of myself, my needs, and my desires, it's unhealthy for me. If I neglect to respond, and I'm apathetic, and I don't want to give you what you're looking for, that hurts too. Because that, reverse psychology, is also being left behind, ignored, and abandoned. Most people talk for the purpose of responding to others. What I mean by that is, while I'm speaking to you directly, the viewer, I'm hoping for a response from you. Whether it's through call, text, email, Facebook message, Instagram message, whatever. I want to know that I'm a blip on your radar because you are a blip on mine. Even though I don't always talk to you all the time, from time to time, I think about you and I remember us. Even though I haven't met you yet, some of you, and that's the future. We have yet to get there yet. But we're getting there. Day by day, step by step, time stops for no man. Time stops for no man. Thank you.